now that I've downloaded the demo files to implement this technique there's well I want to start integrating it into my project so basically there's there's two things that I'm thinking about right now for one since since this code that I have when I looked at it, it has this sp specific folder structure and I saw that in the CSS I, uh, it's pointing to images and everything in certain locations well I want to maintain this fold folder structure as best I can if I start moving these files around like willy-nilly well, well then I, it's not that I can't do that I can move them to wherever I want but as I move them around I really need to pay attention to where I'm moving them to it may even be a good idea to move them around within Dreamweaver's um, file manager over there because it'll update the links and everything okay that's that's the one thing the second thing is I don't want to mess up the current work I have now I'm gonna start this project from from like the baseline which is my my project before I did anything else to it the only thing I did to it let's see let me get this up the only thing I did as the starting point of this project oh come on uh, is I just had this bare bare functionality over here there's no styling I just know it works right and so this is gonna be my starting point now here we go let me go into so here's project two and this is my my baseline so what I'm gonna do is just make a duplicate of this and I'm gonna leave this guy intact and I will make this red now I've done this already before and in a before recording this I I did it and it's right here it's this realistic hover I mean that's likely what I would name it I put this dash three because it just kinda means the um, the way I'm going. I mean, essentially, we have this dash one without CSS is is the project before I even styled it. Two is the is the loading image. Three is this random color link effect that I that I implemented, and and this other one. These two threes are kind of like within the same. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about them as steps. Like these are forks. Like like one one and two build on each other, but three and three are kind of two separate entities you know so let me do uh, working I'll just name it working for now because that works for me and I just for me on the Mac I could actually highlight this in red so I don't mess this up uh, so I don't pick the wrong folder and all that so let me do let me start by just taking these files that I downloaded and bringing them right to my project now I thought they were on my desktop yeah here they are so demo I'll take all this stuff inside and bring it on in here okay interestingly enough I have somewhat of an issue here this thing put its CSS in each and separate folders and images in another folder good idea certainly not a bad idea but now that I'm integrating what I found into what I have, uh, it's either it's either I I want to keep things organized. So I'm thinking it's either I'm going to go and change my stuff to be that folder structure, or I'm going to change it to be my folder structure where everything is in the root. Um, this is pretty well organized with the folders. I don't want it to get out of hand where I have one folder with all the files. So I think that I need to, at least at this point, before I even do anything, organize my files within the file structure that this project has. So um, obviously this is an optional step, but the reason I'm doing it is because it, it's the way I keep organized with my projects because number one problem for me all my mistakes happen when my stuff's all over the place so I like I like really trying to keep as neat as possible now if only my personal life was the same way uh, you know I wouldn't have a closet that's like has stuff falling out of it but hey uh, we'll leave we're gonna separate business from personal for uh, <laughs> this particular situation um, so here I am in in the Dreamweaver file menu and I'm doing it this way because let's see hopefully yeah here we go it'll update the link itself okay it updated the link supposedly let me move my style.css into this style folder 
what else? And I have my own. Yeah, here we go. I have my script. Now, if if this did what it was supposed to do, then that means that when I look at it, it still works. Cool. All right. All right, good, good, good. So that was pretty painless to do. And now, just double checking. Yeah, so now my style sheet's automatically be the, the uh the the link to it's been automatically set to the right place inside these folders. Everything looks good. And and hey, you know what? I know that it's working. So so far so good. All right. I am I, I'm ready to actually start integrating this thing into my project.